What's up guys, CP Water here back with another video and today we're here with a bit of a sad video. Dead PC hardware always sucks and well unfortunately we have another casualty. So towards the end of 2017 I started up my long term Seagate durability drive test and I said this in the last video without very many problems for quite some time. So. I'm going to say four years or so before we start to see a problem. And honestly, I thought the drive would actually last for quite some time. I thought I'd be able to update you guys months in advance. I thought we would be fine throughout 2018. But no, the drive has died. In fact, it's died so much that I don't even know what's going on in there, but I can actually hear the platters spinning when I shake it, rubbing against the reed head. So things have gone really bad. On top of this, when it's plugged in and trying to power up, it just has the general Seagate sound of death. And if you've ever heard the Seagate sound of death, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but this guy is unfortunately dead. In fact, I'll put it up to the microphone. I'll see if we can actually hear uh, the spinning discs. I really hope you could actually hear that, but um, it's it's really not looking great for this particular drive. So how long has it been running? What's actually been doing and why has it died? Well, honestly, this guy is still within its one year warranty. As a general drive, it should really not have, dry, not have died rather, even though we may have been pushing it a little bit hard in a server type application. Now we've already published our video where it's reached the end of its rated lifespan. And I honestly thought it would last more than an extra two to 300 extra uh, hours hours on top of that and I honestly thought it would last a lot longer than what it has done. This is the last screenshot that I managed to get of the actual drive time or at least I hope an image popped up otherwise I don't have the last image saved but I remember taking a shot so hopefully I still have the shot. Either way it's only been a little mile over a couple months since we recorded the last video so a couple months have passed and it has unfortunately kicked the bucket. I haven't done anything with the system and it was basically sitting over in the corner. I was editing up my video this morning and then all of a sudden Premiere Pro threw an error saying that it could not find the audio files and I thought that's a little bit weird so I went to check the server and the server was powered down. At first I thought it was just a general blue screen, hit that power button to go ahead and start the cycle again, get the computer up and running, but it never detected its operating system drive. It just came up with a little blinky thing in the top left corner and when you hit the BIOS, well, as we can see right here, nothing has showed up. So obviously this guy has come to a quick and uh, well, I guess fast-ish death. Now, I did hear it clicking a couple times last week and I thought that was just some chattering going on and didn't really think too much of it. But it seems that last week was when it was starting to die. And as of 11.50 a.m. here on the, uh, what day is it is? It's the 24th of February, 2018. This drive has unfortunately died. So in terms of data loss, I haven't really lost anything more than a blank installer window. So for me, all of my important server files and anything that's important related to the server is already on the WD Red drives in that server. So it's not too much of an issue for me. All I need to do is install another copy of Windows Server 2012 R2 and uh, apply those uh, settings that I already have backed up over and I'm good to go. Should be no more than an hour process, but um, it seems the internet is right. Seagate drives aren't exactly as reliable as what I had really hoped. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to try this test once again. This may have just been a dud drive. It may be just a dodgy unit. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull my warranty. I still have my proof of purchase on this piece of paper on the other side with all my details on it. But we still have proof of purchase. So I'm going to jump down to the store right now. And uh, hopefully we can go ahead and get a replacement drive and run these tests once again to see whether it was just a dodgy drive or whether or not all Seagate latest generation Barracuda drives have this problem as once they're out of their life, they are out of life. If we do find that the next drive dies in exactly the same way, well, why not try WD, I guess? We'll see what their drives can actually offer. So with that being said, I'm going to jump down to the store and literally seeing that you're watching this video would be like a jump cut like that. But um, I'm going to go off and see if I can get a drive replacement. Right, so we're actually back from the PC store and some weird things have actually happened. So this drive was fully dead. Um, and then basically I took it in to get my RMA process. They started it. I went home because they said it will be about a day or so before I could come back and pick up another drive, which was fine by me. Well, not really fine because I'd have to wait to think. But anyway, um, it was basically fine. And then I got a call 20 minutes ago and saying that the drive has come back to life. I don't know what they've done, but the drive is now working once again. There's no errors. The system boots off of it and everything is fine. So it's been uh, renamed as Hades, apparently the Greek god of the underworld and death and that kind of stuff because the drive is back from the dead. 
I don't know how and I guess in some ways it has kind of happened before as I do work from time to time doing PC repairs and stuff like that I have seen it occasionally where drives have been completely dead you take them out you put a new one in the client goes away all happy and it turns out the drive has started to work again so there is a chance for me taking it out of the server, waving it around here in front of the camera, and then, well, them going ahead and doing their testing, it has come back to life. So I guess the drive hasn't exactly died, but there's definitely a few more tests that I want to do, and I'll bring you along for those tests and um, see exactly what's been going on inside of this drive. I won't be opening it up because if it still has problems, I still need to go ahead and get my warranty, and the fact of the matter is it's now a working drive once again. So um, I guess it's back from the dead, so we'll go ahead and I'll pull the camera off the tripod and we'll go around and do some uh, tests and stuff to see what's going on. But um, I have no idea why it's working. I mean, in theory, it should be a completely dead drive because the read head was just flicking constantly. There was nothing I could do about it. And now it's working. So maybe shaking it up at the microphone helped it. Maybe moving it around and taking off the uh, drive caddy and all that kind of stuff just gave it a moment to kind of realize it's not fully dead yet and started working. But... That's just, I guess, one of the joys of PC hardware. So I'm super relieved that it's working, meaning I don't have to reinstall Windows, even though that's like a 10 minute process at that. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and do some tests to see what's up with this drive. So as we can see right here, the drive is back on and the computer is booted up into this particular drive. I'm gonna remote in in just a moment to actually do this so I'm not sitting on the floor. But the funny thing about this is actually, uh, I bought this drive on the 24th of the 9th, 2017. It is now the 24th of the 2nd 2018 it has lasted exactly uh, five months before it died on the day in fact I bought it at 11 11 and it died at 11 40 but it's back so I guess it's not fully dead right so we've just jumped in remote connection to the actual PC I'm sure someone's wondering why we're not using remote desktop connection that's mainly because my copy of uh, 8.1 on this PC well freaks out when I go ahead and use it but anyway um, so we can see here over on the C drive this is the um, Hours right there. Actually, hang on, what have we got here? We've got the wrong drive. No, Seagate. Oh, yeah, this is it. So it's been on for 3,650 uh, 3, hours, which is obviously more than what it's rated for. Um, and we're just doing a crystal disk test over here just to see what kind of speed we're getting. Maybe the drive's uh, lost its performance. But the odd thing is, we don't really have too many errors being thrown up by the drive. So if we have a look here, the status of the health is still good. We've still got a decent temperature. The read and write values, all that kind of stuff is actually not too horrible. I definitely got to go through the actual raw values to see uh, what's going on there. But just from taking a quick few seconds to look at it, it doesn't seem to be too broken. So I don't know what's been going on with this drive and uh, what caused that problem. But I'm going to finish off that crystal disc and we'll do some comparisons to see uh, what it was on the day that I bought it and then also to the day that it came back to life. Now just a quick reference I do also do want to make, I've also do got this other Seagate uh, 4 terabyte drive inside the server as well, it's just been running as a, um, a Plex uh, storage drive and there's really nothing important on it, but this guy has been going for 16,000 hours and that's why I was so surprised to see our uh, little one terabyte drive guy just die because it hadn't been running that long and I'd known, this is a last generation Seagate drive that had been known for really not the greatest re uh, reliability but has been running for 16,000 hours with out of beat, uh, without a problem, without missing a beat. Um, that's why I was so surprised there. So if we go back over to our C drive, which is the supposed dead drive, we can see it's only been going for 3,000 and, well, now one extra hour. But uh, yeah, it's interesting to see that another Seagate drive has been fine. And then the uh, WD Red drives that I have in here have been like smashing it with 19,000 hours. So obviously, Enterprise and server drives obviously gonna have no problems there, but um, Yeah, we'll just have to wait for the results to come in I might actually open up task manager as well and just have a look What the drive is doing in terms of performance because I'm not sitting in the same room as it anymore because uh, that would suck So if we just have a look at the drive usage right here because we are doing a crystal disk test It's gonna be on sort of max usage So that's kind of good to see that's actually being fully used and we're not like 50% usage and then it's all dropping out Numbers are good, we'll just uh, let that finish off and check the results. Right, so I've gone ahead and actually finished up the uh, crystal disc mark there. We can see that is all good there. But if I go ahead and actually grab last time's crystal disc, so if I, let's just uh, let's position this around, here we go. So if we have a look over here, this was the day that I bought the drive. We got 
actually pretty decent numbers there and if we take a look side by side in fact nothing at all has actually changed in fact today's numbers are ever so slightly better uh, in some cases in terms of the reads and then the writes uh, they're a little bit on the worst side but that's kind of to be expected by an older drive but for example we got um in the uh, sequentials here, 202 versus 207, 201 versus 196. So obviously it's a little bit uh, fluctuating right there, but overall uh, the performance hasn't really dropped off, which is really interesting to see. So I guess one of the final tests I also too wanted to do for this was an actual um, file copy just to see how long the sustained things would go. So I've got a 733 gig uh, file. This was just um, some raw file, raw footage that I had going around coming from the server to a local drive here in this room on my PC. Uh, if you want to know more about my storage setup, check out that corner for more information. But I'm going to let this go for two hours and if nothing really happens, um, I'm going to be pretty surprised because when I start, I think this was the um, problem because I was trying to move these files uh, from the server to my local machine just to save up some space because I am running out of space on the server and um, halfway through it just stopped working so I have a feeling that this process may kill the drive but uh, I'm gonna let that transfer and uh, if it stops working I'll let you guys know otherwise I'm sort of at a bit of a loss that this drive is now working again right so it's now quite later on in the day the file transfer has gone through I've done another um crystal disk thingamajig and it's given me exactly the same numbers. I think if we pull up the screen from before, you'll find it's like exactly the same numbers. So it seems to be the drive is in perfect working order again. We've got nothing really showing up uh, over on Crystal Disk Info. Everything seems to be all good. Um, I honestly have no idea. Windows file transfer said it'll take two hours, but it took like three or four. So, you know, Windows calculations is worse than a government uh, construction project. So honestly, it seems to be working really well, which is a massive surprise seeing that just about three three or actually five hours ago exactly uh, the drive was dead so I'm gonna keep an eye on it and I'll actually uh, record the final part tomorrow just to uh, see whether it decides to kill itself overnight um, uh, whether or not but uh, it seems to be pretty good I'll do a couple more tests but um yeah very very interesting outcome Right, so it is the next day and the server seems to be working just 100% fine, so that was kind of a weird little glitch. Now, in between yesterday and then now also to today, I went ahead and looked up some forums and it seems to be quite a lot of other users who also too bought the same drive as me around the same time have also to experience this thing where the drive died, they took it out for an RMA, they put it back in one more time and it worked. Unfortunately for me, I took it back and then got a call saying that it was working again, so I'm not exactly sure there. Some people out there have speculated that it's down to the actual movement of the drive outside of the system so when I was shaking it on camera and moving it around quite a bit even though this is not the drive um, there is speculation that that may have actually got it working again somehow but with that being said I will definitely be keeping a close eye on it and as soon as it dies we'll be back with a video hopefully that time right that it actually had died but for today's video it was a very very close call to it being dead in fact it went all the way back to the shop before it was deemed that it actually was working which was really interesting to see so I guess we can continue with our Seagate long-term durability test to see exactly how long a Seagate drive will die from the new generation. So with that being said, that's about it for this video. If you do want to pick up the drive, well, you can find that link down in that description box. If you have your own theory about why the drive started working again, let me know down in that comment sections. Otherwise, stay tuned for future updates of this particular drive. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Wow.